Hi guys, this is Hams. Welcome back to Katia B5 training. Uh, on this training, I will show you how to use the compass to give some directions to the bundles. So, I just have these components here, are the same on the previous assembly. So, let me create some bundles. Remember, just root definition, select the connector to the other connector, press OK and use to create another branch here so let's click on add branch point here select the bundle and select the desired position where you want the the code and in this case uh, I'm gonna cho choose this one here you can put length, radio if you want a exact length use write for example 600 click pre preview press ok and as you can see here we have two bundles now here press ok press ok and I'm going to create another one from this connector from here to the breakpoint here and and that's it okay but for example, what about if you want this bundle comes like that or like that? One way to do it is grab your compass, put it wherever you want, and where you see this small sphere is the direction that the bundle is gonna take. So. If you move it, for example, like that, we want the bundle going in that direction. So I'm gonna double click the bundle, go to root definition, select the point you want to, to move. In this case, it's point 0.3, selected, and on constant type, make sure you're on explicit. And tangent direction, use right click here and you have the compass direction and you can choose the X direction or whatever you want but in case I'm gonna use the compass direction to show you so click the compass direction and now the bundle is moved you can change the, the direction on the arrow too as you can see now the bundle is taking the compass direction and you can move, you can play with the compass, I mean let me show you, you can what about if I move the compass like that just go again, tangent direction, compass direction and now the bundle is moving but what about let me show you one more time like that let's do it like that again, right click compass direction and you can reverse the direction whatever you need it so this is another tool you can use the compass to give the harness direction and just press ok alright and another thing you can do is play with the slack just double click you have the you need to be on the slack mode you can put for example 100 and press apply and now the bundle have more slack or remember the length of the bundle is going to be affected and just press ok and another thing you can do too is you have this the add local slack Command, so click on the add local command. Just click the bundle you want to change. And you want to add some slack here. Just click add slack. For example, I want to add 10 millimeters slack here. Press apply. And the bundle got more slack. Well, let me put more 100 slack. 
as you can see the, the bundle changed now but if you put ignore slack you can see the bundle doesn't have any slack now well, let's press cancel so this is another tool you can use to to modify the harness uh, but remember when you're working with fiber fiber wires you need you need to have maximum 90 degrees on the um, the direction of the bundle so for example if one wire is coming from here to here the fiber cannot comply here because it's going to break so remember you have you have to to check with your company what kind of bend radius you're using to have the formula to calculate how many angle you can give to the wires um, press ok and another thing you can do with the wires I don't remember if I already showed you is to give another direction according to the other bundles so for example let's give direction of this bundle let's suppose this wire is coming from here to here so let's go to root definition select the the point you want to change in this case is point 3 and just put replace and select for example I want to give the direction of this bundle not this one so I'm just gonna select the bundle like that and now you can see it's better now for the wires coming from here for manufacturing and to don't break the wires so let's suppose we want the wires coming from this direction just again select the point, replace and now we're going to select this side of the bundle well in this case you cannot see too much difference because it's the same bundle but just press ok well well guys there's another tool to play with it and remember you have some errors try to fix it and check what they are occurring and remember all the spline line curves need to be on white if you have a red one it means you're not complying with some rules it could be bend radius or another stuff the wires are not linked or something like that and remember to the, the other tool to check if the, the harness are connected use the related objects command you can use the 3 or 3D view, I prefer the 3D view for, for example if you select the bundle you can see this bundle is connected to, to this connector at the same time it's connected to this bundle and this connector and this one and this one and on the tree well you only see it's connected to these connectors alright uh, I hope you understand this and if you have any question just let me know and thanks for watching see you in the next video